So, the secret. and why is it a secret? How many points connected? Two. What we really want, what we really want, and we can't get it directly, is we want, I didn't use green, we want the line that's right here that only hits that one point. That line is called a tangent line. The problem with it, of course, is that we can't just put one point into it. We have to have two distinct points. Blake said, what the hell? Why not just go right to 10 seconds and use 10 seconds and whatever distance that is and 10.3200 and go from there? Because the idea is I want you to sneak into that to build up to that. And that's why I, I designed a little in-class quiz for you guys to slug through right now. So what you're going to be doing, when I, I'm going to head these out now. Everybody grab one of these. You're going to be doing exactly what Blake and Chad just said, and you're going to keep sneaking the secant lines closer and closer to that tangent line. So I think what I have you do, I want to do part of this together before I set you loose on it individually. We're going to be sneaking that secant line closer and closer in until it's essentially the same as the tangent line. And then, once I know the slope of the tangent line, what else will I know? What was the whole point of starting this? What was the question I asked? And you guys took that. Took, I've since erased them. How fast was I going at the end? Once I have an approximation for the slope of that tangent line, I will know the answer to that. So Chad and Blake, thank you for your patience and everybody else. The point was you had to make sure you knew why sneaking the secant line in was legit. Now you know why. Now you can focus on the mathematics. I apologize. I think I just pissed half of you off by doing that TI thing. My apologies. I didn't mean to. You got so quiet and so sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean sadness. That's not what I wanted. I didn't mean sadness. So yes, make sure you guys get one of these. Before we go, before I set you loose though, let's make sure we do A and B together. Let's make sure we do A and B together because I want to make sure you guys have the correct starting points. Oh, thank you, thank you. So as far as the first two point question, the A two point start by completing the model, we already had that on the board. We've since erased it. We've since erased it. So. What was the model? Y equals, I believe it was 1.68x squared, yes? Yeah. Plus 2.18x, good, good, good. And then plus a negative 0.37 or 0.38, 0.36, whatever you guys say it was. Awesome. It is minus, plus a minus. I had a, I had a plus sign here, so you had to put a minus to make it a negative. Adding a negative, yes? Uh, negative 0.37, 0.38, somewhere in there. I think 0.37. All good. So, and each of those coefficients does have a meaning. The first was the acceleration, the second was the constant velocity, the third was 0. 0.0. That's not really important for us to work. All we have to do is have the, to do the math on. That's what we need. Okay, what is x in this model? Time. Good, time. And you might want to put, in parentheses, put in seconds, because honestly, it's helpful to know what your unit of reference is, right? If somebody goes, I'm going 19.4, 19.4 for what? Yeah. The great feet per second, miles per hour, meters per second. It depends on what the unit is. Uh, what is y? Distance, parentheses, in feet. That's the model. In my opinion, and this is just my opinion, you can ignore it if you want. You should always have a definition of your variables with your model. You should always have a definition of your, of your variables with your model. In my opinion, because that way you know what your, it's otherwise just an equation. Okay, part B, part B, we already know this because I'm tight. What average time did we agree I passed the marker at 200 feet? 10.3 seconds. We've been using that number for the past half an hour. You've been very patient while we have been doing it. Francis is like, yes, painfully. And I appreciate your patience. We've been using that number. On average? No, 10.3 is that, that, remember we did, we ran the 200 marker over and hit the curve at 10.3. Now, you, you see a new acronym right there? Now together, we'll calculate the average rate of change. Boop, 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 a rock. Using your TIs. Or not. It sounds like you guys don't want to, and that's okay. <laughs> the instantaneous rate of change, IROC. Hmm, what will the IROC be? Well, you do. I know you do, Whitney. <laughs> what will the IROC be geometrically up here? I'll get you started. It'll be the slope of the. Remember the word I used? These have all been secant lines. Secant line, average rate of change. Secant line, average rate of change. Secant line, average rate of change. Tangent, Tangent, Tangent line. line. No. It'll be the instantaneous rate of change. Why will it be instantaneous? Because it will be happening essentially at that 
point in time. So you see, I keep asking the question, how fast was I going when I crossed the 200 foot marker? A congruent question is, how fast was I going <laughs> at 10.3 seconds? Because that's really the congruent question, isn't it? At 200 feet, I was at 10.3 seconds. How fast was I going at 10.3 seconds? That's the question. And that's the question you're going to be answering through the next couple of walkthroughs here. So take a look before you get into this mathematically. C, D, E, F, and G, and H, all of those keep getting you closer and closer and closer and closer to 10.3 seconds. So get some mathematics going in here. All right, take some time right now. Take some time. Let me wander around and work with you. Some of you that hate what I just showed you on the TI, bless you. Do it, do it your own way. That's totally fine. I got no problem with that. Yeah. I'll, I'll circle around. We are probably not going to finish this in this class time. So if you want to take it with you and bring it back on Monday, that's fine too. But the last 10 minutes, I'll circle and help you if you get stuck. Okie doke. If you want to take off, that's fine. Just bring it back on Monday so I can give you credit for the quiz for it. Yes? Good. Thank you. Yes.